in this video I will update uh, the situation of my tomatoes in the Dutch bucket system. As you can see the Dutch bucket system is working since you can see the water uh, coming out from each bucket and going back to the to the main reservoir which is placed underground. Since I came back from the holidays I did mainly uh, a couple of things. I cleaned the surface of the uh, bucket and I cut, I trimmed away all the leaves from a certain height below um, because here the tomatoes were already developed maybe they were green but they already developed so it was unnecessary to keep all those leaves in, in place uh, this because the more leaves I keep here in this part of the plant in this stage of development is a source of uh, uh, water loss because uh, the leaf will absorb both nutrients as well as water and the more leaves I have the more water evaporates and the more fresh water I need to add to the reservoir. So as you can see I don't have any leaf in this area. And of course, the more the system is open, um, the more uh, the plant breath, so it takes new oxygen, new fresh oxygen, and also it helps um, the insects to do the impollination of the tomato. So it is only beneficial if you cut those leaves. In the internet, I saw that uh, someone uh, cut uh, the remaining leaves, uh, leaving uh, the four most important leaves for each uh, branch. So they cut, they cut the top of the of the of the branch here, and they leave the four main leaves, as you can see also here. One, two, three, and four leaves, and they do. Uh, this in order to increase the size of the tomatoes. Uh, I don't know if it is working, but I am I'm trying to do this and uh, I'll see if there is some difference. So if there is any difference, I will uh, keep you informed. Here I am doing another trial. Uh, I am doing... I am putting one plastic bag as a condom on the uh, on on the I don't know the English name but uh, on a new branch of the tomato plant you have branches with leaves and you have uh, I think it is called the sucker or something like this so I am putting this plastic bag I filled it with the um, water and I am putting it like a condom um, on this sucker. I tighten here in order uh, not to lose any any water and uh, what I am expecting to do. Well I am expecting that this new sucker will develop new roots and as soon as the roots are uh, a couple of centimeters long then I will cut the sucker and plant this new uh, tomato plant because now after the roots have developed it is actually a tomato plant so I will cut this new tomato plant and I will put it in a new Dutch bucket. Uh, in, I saw this system being done by MHP Gardener which is I think one of the most uh, viewed channel in, in the wor world uh, regarding uh, tomatoes and Dutch bucket system. Uh, he did it uh, he did a system like this without a bag but uh, using a plastic bottle and keeping this plastic bo the environment in this plastic bottle um, uh, uh, wet. Uh, since I don't want to use plastic bottles because I don't think it is uh, I don't have personally a lot so many plastic bottles so I'm trying to make a system with a plastic bag since I have many many plastic bags and I'm checking if this is working or not. So I will keep you informed about uh, the system, whether it is successful 
or or not. Uh, the main reason to do uh, this in this way or in the way of MHP Gardener it is because uh, in this way we do not stop the growth of the sucker of the new tomato plant. When you cut the sucker and you put it in a bottle of water or you put it directly in the Dutch bucket system because that is also one solution one possible solution well the uh, new plant will stop growing for at least uh, one week or two weeks when uh, the new plant has the new roots and is has been is adapted to the new environment then it will start growing again in this way um, uh, the system should not stop growing since um, while it is developing the root the system will uh, suck the nutrients from the main stem of the tomato plant so there will be no stop in growing in the growth of the plant so let's see and check whether this is working or not I have three varieties of tomatoes growing in my bucket system, in my Dutch bucket system. The costoluto, the red cherry and the black cherry. Uh, the red cherry and the black cherry are really tasteful. The costoluto, are, I mean, I have an issue with the taste of the costoluto. I don't know whether this issue is due to the uh, variety of the tomato so that could be reason number one maybe it could be uh, that I am harvesting the costoluto when it is even more mature than this so that could be a reason number two or maybe it is the mix of nutrients that I am giving to the costoluto uh, actually I don't think this could be the reason because this costoluto ta doesn't taste very well since if I had an issue with the nutrients I would have had an issue with the uh, red cherry as well as with the black cherry but those two varieties are really tasteful so I don't think it is the nutrient solution I am thinking more at the fact that uh, I am harvesting those uh, tomatoes a little bit uh, uh, in a later stage uh, therefore, I think uh, I should harvest them when they are this color. I will keep you informed also about this issue. For, a, for the rest, uh, what can I say more? Uh, yeah, the plants are really long, doing well, as you can see. Many plants, like this one, they are 2 meters tall, plus approximately three more meter long. They already arrived to the roof of the strawberries. So they're doing really, really well. They're really developing in a nice way. And uh, let's see how many more kilograms of tomatoes they will produce. But I'm pretty confident they will produce many, many, many more kilograms. So that's it for today, I wish you a nice day and of course happy growing to the all of you. Bye bye and see you next time.